about to ask and she said, I like your hair, it's so pretty. And then when she left, Daddy was like this, what about this? And then he pulled out his hat. It's okay, he used that. Daddy has the best hair. It's not fair. You gotta tell them you got it from me. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to our channel. This video is all about our trip to Austin, Texas. Now, if you're new to our channel, we are the Sinyovi family. My name is Carmen, and our channel is all about fostering togetherness by experiencing new adventures at home in New York City, where we live, and all around the world when we travel. So we decided to take our girls to Austin, Texas for their spring break. And this trip is actually the first in a year-long partnership that we're doing with Delta Airlines. So thank you, Delta, for flying us out. Now, I am definitely a planner when it comes to travel, and I had this whole itinerary planned out where we were going to explore some of the outdoor activities you could do in Austin, like kayaking and hiking and all that kind of stuff. But then I looked at the forecast and I realized that it was going to be rainy and stormy pretty much the entire time we were there. So obviously our initial plan was not going to work out. So we went into this trip really without much of an itinerary. We kind of roughly had some idea of some of the things we might want to do, but we essentially had to play it by ear the whole trip. So how did it go? Keep watching. <laughs> So we stayed in Hotel Van Zandt, which is a really cool boutique hotel. It's part of the Kimpton group, and it's got this really cool, like dark industrial vibe. Um, but even though it had that feel, it was still very kid friendly. And the rooms were really spacious, as you'll see. So before the trip, we had asked our friends who had been to Austin what their recommendations were. And one of our friends who's a chef had just come back from the city and he told us that we absolutely had to go to Gus's Fried Chicken. So Gus's is actually essentially a national chain, which I didn't realize. There's locations in a lot of different states. However, there is not a single one anywhere in the Northeast. So we've never had the pleasure of trying it. But as you'll see, it doesn't even look like a chain inside. If I didn't know that from the website, I would have assumed it was just a local joint. Anyway, the food was fantastic. Check it out. Oh, good. <laughs> oh my god, so good. Just like simple and good. Like the, the baked beans were good. The oh, uh, mac and cheese was good. Like nothing fancy, but just like solid fried chicken. Really, really good. <laughs> So the next morning we were in search of breakfast tacos. Now I did a quick search on Yelp and realized that there is a great breakfast spot just walking distance from the hotel called Sinoti. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And so we just decided to wander over there and check it out. We 
just had our first breakfast taco since getting to Austin. What did yeah, you think? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty solid. The one with bacon was good. The one with chorizo is kind of heavy. Yeah, it's smokier outside. flavor. Yeah, it's, it's good. And the one with potatoes, that's always solid. So one of the really cool things about Hotel Vincent is that it is very, very pet friendly. Now we ourselves do not have pets. However, if you're planning to travel with your dog, know that that is a really good place to stay. So Ella met this dog in the lobby of the hotel and she's actually kind of scared of dogs. Um, she's been very scared of dogs for a very long time. But I noticed that in the last year, she's been like very, very interested in them. And you can tell that she's really trying to overcome her fear. And so she really wanted to pet the dog, but she was also scared. And she really kind of overcame her fear. Ella, you want to pet it? <laughs> Just put your hand out. Oh, he likes it. So one of the first things the girls always want to do when we're on vacation is go into the pool. And so we hit the pool at Hotel Van Sant and it was a lot of fun. On one of our drives, we had passed by an In-N-Out burger and Sean totally freaked out. So first of all, I didn't even know that they had any of these in Texas. I thought they were only in California, but I was kind of like, Sean, how do you even know about In-N-Out? Cause we obviously don't have that in New York and she hasn't been to LA yet. And she was like, oh, I know about it because all the YouTubers eat there. So that is why she essentially convinced us that we had to go. So after lunch, we decided to check out Hope Outdoor Gallery, which is something that Serge had heard about online. It's kind of like an outdoor graffiti park, so to speak. Unfortunately, when we got there, we realized that it was permanently closed. There was this big chain link fence and a big lock on the gate. And all I could do was actually just like find a tiny gap where I could stick my phone and get a bit of footage. But then I came up with a plan B. There is this really cool structure called Austin by the artist Ellsworth Kelly that I had seen on Instagram. And I was like, I really, really want to go there and check it out. Unfortunately, it turned out that that was closed as well. That the structure and also the art museum that it's part of, which is the Blanton Museum of Arts, happened to be closed that day. But even though that was the case, this ended up being one of our favorite experiences of the trip. So we actually ended up spending almost two hours at the structure. And what were we doing? Just like taking silly photos. The girls were doing cartwheels. They were running around on the grass. Um, it ended up being just one of those like spontaneous travel moments where you find something that's super fun that nobody had expected or planned.
after that, we headed to South Congress Avenue, which is kind of this main drag in Austin that's very popular uh, with lots of cool like shops and restaurants. And we just had a really great time kind of exploring there, popping into like funny hotels, I mean hotels, shops. Um, speaking of hotels, we did of course snap some pictures at the iconic Austin Motel sign. And their gift shop is also a lot of fun. Definitely make sure you go in there if you go to Austin. Um, and then after that, we decided to get a sushi dinner at Lucky Robot. And it was great to eat a little lighter um, because throughout the trip, we definitely ate a lot of meat as you're gonna see. So after dinner, we went in search of dessert. So on Yelp, I had seen that there's a really popular place called the Baked Bear, which specializes in these ice cream sandwiches. So we headed there really not knowing anything about it or the area. Well, it turns out that it's actually part of this um, whole complex that used to be a power plant and it's been redeveloped and repurposed into like office and commercial space. And there's this huge kind of like asphalt lawn right in front of the store. And so it ended up being another one of those spontaneous moments where yes, we had the ice cream sandwiches, but then the girls had such a great time just running around there and practicing their cartwheels. <laughs> Next morning, it was time for more tacos. Now, Torchy's Tacos is a chain in Austin that is known for having some of the best tacos in the city. So Serge and I actually wanted to try both the breakfast tacos and the sort of regular tacos. So we purposely went around brunch time. So we went around 1130. And so we had a little bit of both and man, they were really delicious. <music> After tacos, we checked out of Hotel Van Sant and moved more or less across the street to the Fairmont Austin. expecting that. What? So later that day, we headed back to South Congress Avenue and we met up with Alicia Rainwaters, who is a local photographer. So we snapped some pictures for Instagram and then we decided to go into Allen's Boots, which is this cowboy boot store on South, South Congress Avenue. Now, I have never wanted a pair of cowboy boots in my life, but somehow walking in here, I wanted like every single pair. Like they were amazing, like all kinds of designs and just the craftsmanship is amazing. And just as soon as you walk into the store, the the 
the smell of leather is like overpowering, but in a good way. Like it's a very, very cool store. Great experience. Definitely check it out if you're going to be in Austin. So that evening we decided to drive out to Driftwood, Texas, which is a little bit outside of Austin and it is part of what they call hill country. So it's a beautiful, beautiful drive, lots of rolling hills and wildflowers. And we went to the iconic Salt Lake barbecue. dinner we decided to go and pay a visit to Jennifer Bor oh man I don't even know how to say your last name Jennifer Borget Borget um, whom we had met uh, actually at Disney on the Creator Days trip so Driftwood is a formerly kind of very rural place but it's become really kind of up and coming there's tons of like vineyards and restaurants popping up there there's this whole cool like culinary scene um, but then I guess there's also a lot of residential developments over there so we visited Jennifer and her gorgeous family in their beautiful new home and it was was so much fun. So the next morning it was super rainy, like it rained nonstop the entire day. It was super gloomy and awful weather. And so we did nothing <laughs> that day. We just stayed in our hotel room and just hung out and watched videos and watched movies. Serge and I got some work done on our laptops and we just had a very, very lazy day. But that evening we decided to pay a visit to another one of our creator friends, Jen Pinkston and her husband, Aaron. So we had actually met them on our trip to Martha's Vineyard, which I'm going to put a link to below. And um, we really hit it off with their family. They've got two gorgeous daughters who are super cute. And so Sean and Ella were so excited to be able to be reunited with their friends and play with them again. <music>
So if you're gonna be staying at Fairmont Austin, it's definitely worth upgrading to club level um, because their gold lounge is absolutely fantastic. We really enjoyed the breakfast there, but they also serve evening canapes and they also have a great dessert spread in the evenings. <music> So later that day, we decided to go check out Austin's new central library. So this building has only been open for a year or two, and it is absolutely stunning. If you like modern architecture at all, or you have an appreciation for it, I don't know much about architecture and design, but I know what I like, definitely go there because it's just a beautiful building and um, just so fun for kids. And Sean and Ella got into this really, really intense game of chess with this giant chess set that was there. So that day for lunch, we had been seriously debating whether we should drive back out to Driftwood to go to the Salt Lake again, because we liked it that much. However, we were talking to one of the team members at the Fairmont um, named LM, and he actually suggested that we try out his favorite place, which is Terry Black's Barbecue, which is actually within uh, the city limits. And so we went there instead, and here's how it went. So who do we agree on, Salt Lake or this place? I think we all like Salt Lake a little better than this place. Yeah, yeah. This place is good too, though. Yes, just because of mac and cheese. I didn't, I, I survived with no mac and cheese on this whole entire trip, and I finally have it. And now you're going crazy for it. I, I asked for it five times in a row. I'm like, I need to take it. Can I have more? So it was super, super hot that day. And so of course, after lunch, we decided to hit the pool. So the pool at Fairmont Austin is fabulous. It's actually, I believe, the largest outdoor pool in that whole part of the city. And so we had a lot of fun. The girls had fun being in the pool. We actually had a cabana, which was really nice because there wasn't a lot of seating because the weather was so gorgeous that day. It was super crowded. Um, so it was nice to have kind of like a home base to chill out with a little bit of shade and enjoy some cocktails. And it was just overall just an amazing afternoon. So this trip was definitely a learning experience for me. I am very type A, I really prefer to plan as much as possible when we travel, but going into this trip with almost no plan and only a very vague idea of the places we wanted to eat and things we wanted to do, um, it was a little scary for me, but I think it turned out really wonderfully. It was amazing to be able to connect with uh, friends that we had met on previous trips. And then also one thing I forgot to mention is that it just happened that the week we were in, in Austin,
Houston, there was this big conference happening called Mom 2.0. And so I had quite a few friends I know from the blog world who happened to be in town. So even though I didn't get it on video or photos, because apparently I'm a terrible Instagrammer, um, we actually got to meet up with a couple of my blogger friends and just kind of catch up and have some coffee um, and see them while they were in town. So that was super cool. So don't be afraid to let go a little bit. If you are a planner like me, sometimes it's good to be more spontaneous and you can have a lot of fun. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.